So the meeting is open. It is uh, September 24th, 7 p.m. Uh, let's uh, go around and state our names for the record, please. Rick Madden. Gino Fellini. Art Edgerton. Sandra Simon. Paul Clark. Mark Sotir. I'm oh, sorry. And Mark Sotir. Please note that this meeting is being made available to the public through a video and audio broadcast on Comcast <laughs> Government Access Channel for broadcast at a future date. Comments made in open session will be recorded. All right, so uh, let's get to the agenda. The mail is going around. Uh, Gino, just uh, so you know, every week the mail goes around. You just uh, There's a sign-off sheet. and just read through the mail. If there's any questions, you can bring them up. But uh, we all go through the mail every week or every other week as we need. Did everybody have a chance to review the uh, the minutes from August uh, 13th and 27th uh, prior to today? Uh, no, I remember. Did, uh, do you have Gino's email? I do. Okay. Yeah. okay. Do you have an email from me? Uh, I got one. Yeah. With an agenda? It, yeah, but it didn't have an agenda. It just had some general things on it, No, nothing specific. Okay, I'll check that out. Uh, you did receive some sort of an email from me, so I yes, have to correct email. Though. Yes. Okay. All right, I'll check on that. Sorry okay. about that. Okay. So, is it, so I'm guessing you have not had a chance to review the minutes of these meetings. Uh, just a point of order. Um, where Mr. Fellini was not a member of the board. Is, does he still um, have to review those meeting notes that he wasn't present for? No. So can we vote to accept these? Okay. Has everybody else had a chance to review them? Okay. All right. So um, any motions uh, to accept the uh, minutes? minutes for August 13th and August 27th. I'll second it. A motion has been made and seconded to accept the meeting uh, notes from August 13th and August 27th. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those in opposed? No. Motion carries unanimously. Okay. Don't put it in your pocket. All right. Discussions. Um, so, as everybody probably knows at this time, um, we have a new member, Mr. Fellini. Welcome to the board. Thank you. We uh, are happy to have you. So. Um, also, everybody may know that, um, you know, in, in my opinion, we didn't follow the normal process that we usually do to recommend members. So, what's done is done, and what's here is in front of us, and that's fine. I just, what I just like to do is get everybody at the table to, uh, to discuss and potentially agree upon that there should be a process as we go forward for recommending the members, as when I was a member, uh, an applicant, when you were. Right. I can't remember the name of your other friend that, that uh, was. Oh, Jurgen Keller. Mr. Keller, yes. When uh, he was uh, interviewed and you know either voted or not, you know voted and recommended by. And the board. Kyle, mm -hmm. Kyle was also on the board and off the board. Yeah. So um, you know, again, I think it's a it's a good process that we at least get to um, look at applicants and talk to them and either recommend or not recommend. And uh, again, we. Uh, want to get back to that process, I believe, and I just uh, want to open that up for discussion. So my understanding, being a new member, the process is that I went through that the commission would interview me, then the commission made a recommendation to the board of selectmen, and then the selectmen would either accept me or reject me. Correct. And, and that's the process I went through okay. as well. So I, mean, I can't speak too historically of what happened before that, but okay. I thought it was a fair process when I was an applicant. I'm guessing you thought it was yeah. the same. Um, so again, this is just kind of to affirm or reaffirm that, you know, that is at least our internal uh, process. I yeah. think that he was the first one that um, came in when in the transition of what we're doing, that none of us answered any ads that I know of, that we were um, kind of word of mouth and mm -hmm. that's how we got on. I think it's a good thing to have a process, absolutely agreeing with you, but I don't think that we shared in that process. I think we were kind of in the door like we were. See, I didn't answer any ad, did you? No. Did you? An, an, an advertisement? Yeah, an it, was word, it was word of mouth. Yeah, it okay, wasn't, so it wasn't answer about an answering ad? an ad. Well, that's what the process is. No, that's no, no, about. That, is, that isn't what I talked about. So we're not talking uh, about advertising in the future? No, we talked about being no. interviewed by the board and then the board voting to recommend, which is what happened. Right. At right. least when we... Uh, that was no, I, I thought that the I think what Rick thing was, is talking about is that the new way is that any openings on any board are usually posted somewhere right. that right. there is right. an opening. Mm -hmm. I right. mean, if you're calling that advertising, then well, that's it, evident. But no, yeah. to me, that's just posting yeah, not new openings saying, okay, right. there is going to be an opening. Anyone interested? 
Okay. Through, through the paperwork Absolutely. so we can and, look at it. And for the record, we, we actually did uh, post the position, uh, right. which, which I think is great because it gets, right. you know, the more the merrier as far as applicants. We want to get, obviously, you know, as many people want to have a quorum. as possible. So we, uh, we did do that, and, and again, we should make sure that's part of the process as well. I think that's different. Uh, you know, it's the first step to, you know, getting somebody in front of two it. You know, fairness, it says may advertise. Right. It doesn't say much must advertise. So I think if it's a policy that we're adopting, then it just be realized that it is a new policy and that that's how the future will be done. I mean, we can recommend whoever we want, but it's right. it's a selectman's choice. If they want to take our recommendation right. or someone Absolutely. else, they can do that. Absolutely. Which that's right. clearly was stated when I was in front of us. Right. We understand that it's their decision. It's going but, but I think, you know, uh, at least uh, some of them uh, recommended that, uh, you know, they do appreciate the recommendation of the different boards and commissions. And stuff. So, so, you know, I think that they don't uh, particularly know exactly what we do every single week or, or sometimes even the purviews of what we you know, to talk about it, we go, what we what we discuss and rule on. So, uh, you know, again, I think they appreciate our recommendations. Uh, you know, at least in, in the most part. Mm -hmm. But again, it's it's their prerogative to vote or you know not vote uh, somebody in. So, our preference is to interview applicants or get to know the applicants and make a recommendation to select them. Yeah, I, I guess in my perfect world, you, you post a position. Mm -hmm. Let it go for you know. I'm going to say 21 calendar days. I think it's I think it's a good period of time, and then you you, you know look at all the applicants, you know uh, resumes and applications. You bring them in one by one. You interview them and then make a recommendation. Okay. Uh, should we make a motion for policy or? Well, I think it's a uh, it's something I'd like to you know get on the record. Do, do we set that policy, or is that set by the select? I mean, who actually gets to I think set they that policy? Yeah, they, they get the final say. They get the policy. They get the vote. Yeah. They get you know? the vote to recommend. But I looked through all the town bylaws, and there wasn't anything specific in there. So I think. Um, you know, I, I, can we can we vote on something like this? Or? Yeah, like what you discussed with the selectmen in that meeting, um, we would vote on it here, and then we would send that up to them, and it would be at their discretion to add that to the bylaws. But it sounded like they were willing to work with you on that, hmm. so we should be fine. Okay, so let's let's um, if we want to make a motion, let's let's do that and vote on it. And if it's in um, the affirmative, we um, one other take it to the selectmen. Um, there's it's kind of sketchy on how many meetings if. There are any meetings. Um, it's a recommended that they do. Should we affirm that maybe that we like to affirm that one way or the other? That X amount of meetings must be attended before you can actually be on. As along with that, it kind of goes hand in hand. No, I, I don't. You know, I, I did see that in the bylaws, you know? and it, that's another may. Right. Um, I, I know personally, I only sat at one meeting yeah. myself. I know you were at two. I don't know if you were at any. How many did you? Uh, two. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you know, I, I think right. that's that's been something that's pretty inconsistent. Um, yeah. But if if, if I, everybody I think thinks before you even apply to the board, you have to have an idea of what the board yeah. is, do I, I think, is doing. Yeah. And if and you can actually make yeah. it there, I think it's yeah. a good like break-in period. I like to see two to three. I mean, myself, that's what I did, and I learned a lot in that period, and it helped me. <laughs> well, let's ask Mr. Well, Fellini. Uh, uh, um, did you feel two was? Um, a good number for you to sit at and understand what was going on, or do you think uh, another one would have been better, you know, for applicants going forward? I think having an idea what you were talking about would have helped a lot, but I don't know if it's if someone sitting off table would be privy to all this information. If it's private, then you're going to have to inform them of how it works. When they're on, they'll have the information ahead of time. Then they'll know what's going on, so they can vote on it and discuss the matter. So, did you feel too? Was uh, I did not you did feel not. that at all. So, because I did, I just come in and I'm trying to. What are they talking about? Right. And people coming in making a presentation. Everybody here seemed to know what it was about, and I was just observing, knowing that after a few times it'll get repetitive, hmm. and I'll. I'll pick it up. So I was aware that there's a learning curve and you can't just start and start voting on stuff without knowing the procedure and what you're talking about. So it sounds like that's a three is better, more, you know, uh, indicative of, uh, you know, a, a, a good number of meetings for you, three, as, as opposed to two? 
third I, I would, yeah, times I would a be charm. In, I would be in favor of three as well. You know, that's, third that's, times a charm. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say three. Okay. Uh, with maybe a little, maybe Bob or uh, yeah. uh, you, Mark, talk to him about, oh, yeah, uh, if you have any questions, write, write them down and we'll just go. We'll, Take a few minutes afterwards, and we'll sit down and discuss them. Yeah. Why this and why that? Very good. So you know I, I think how also things work. When we interview somebody, is a good time. You know, do we interview them after three or uh, early? Early, and so say this is what we're going to be doing. You, you'll like, can know. You do it? And then and get them that it's, way. It's, if it's, the person's interested, yeah, they will ask questions. All three, yeah. they will start yeah. asking questions. I think it's a, you know, that's a fair concept, and I think you know, it's probably a better interview after three observation meetings because they have a feel for what we're doing, and I think they would ask us better questions, um, you know, at the same time. So I think the process would be a ten three, you know, uh, application in, resume in, a ten three meetings, and then interview. I'd like to throw in my two cents here, saying that. In the future, any new applicants that are interested, I will sit with before time away from the meeting and explain, you know, what little I know about what's going on, and also they can have a better idea of when they sit here mm -hmm. what is happening. Yeah, I don't think, think it should happen after three meetings. In a sitting, meetings. we could go through. All, we might confuse them. <clears throat> okay. This is going to be lengthy. I think. That's all right. We're, we're just, we're, we're, I think we just need a couple more minutes. Let's yeah. just see if we can finish it up. Okay. So, I, I think that's a that's a great uh, thing if you can do it, Bob. And, uh, and uh, I can, I can, uh, I actually I enjoy telling people what the commission does do and what we can do and what our responsibilities are. I just think you shouldn't wait yeah. after yeah. three. Yeah. If you're doing an evaluation on somebody in a year, you're going to let them make mistakes, and then in a year tell them. Yeah. What they screwed up, you yeah. try to correct them as they go along. Three meetings, you have questions in the first or the second, and you explain things as they go along. I got to say, anyone I who wants to know what we do, if they're interested, <clears throat> they get a hold of me. I'll sit down and yeah. uh, show them the ins and outs of how this board functions, or how it's supposed to function, or what I think is how right. it's supposed to function. Nobody knows more about that than you do, so that that's, sounds good to me. Do we? Uh, are we getting to the point where we can uh, get a motion on the floor? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'll move. Mm -hmm. We want to add after. I'm going to read something out. Should I amend it already? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can make a motion. Uh, move. Yep. I'd like to move that that we advertise for a 21-day period before making our decision. In our decision, we'd like to have applicants attend up to up to and including three meetings and have a little bit of uh, informal education as to what the board does so they could understand what's going on. And then the board would make its recommendation to the appointing authority. I'll second that. No amendment needed. <laughs> got it all. Uh, so a motion has been uh, made and seconded. seconded. Any uh, discussion on the motion? Yeah, I would like to suggest that you make the time a little bit shorter because in the meantime, the selectman could pick somebody on their own and put them in before that three weeks is even up. Well, I, I think you know part of this was if yeah. we all agree, then we would move this to the selectman for approval, right? Yeah. As, as as we discussed in the meeting. So I think if we agree on it, we can get something you know uh, to them. Mm -hmm. Well, then they might say either yeah we like that or no we don't. Here, Go back to the table. Here, here's so. the only problem I see in that in the in the works and the gears is that um, it's 21 days to your advertising. Then it's three meetings. That can be a period of 24 plus uh, 24 plus. Yeah. 24. Um, we'll be into next spring by the time you actually get somebody on the board. And we've had some problem with people not showing and then not making quorums. And I think based on that, we need to think a little more streamlined than that type of calendar, unless my math is wrong. It's close. No. Yeah. I, I, it's right. Because I'm just like so. With seven members, uh, if we're only down eight, if we were going to be down a whole lot of members and we have to streamline it. But if we're only down yeah, one at a time, um, then we can function with six. Right. And as far as quorum goes, that only means we need four out of the six to even attend. And I would hope that we could have four most of the time. And if we were getting to a point where 
for some reason we couldn't well, get four, we can postpone it one week. Well, the three oh, meetings yeah. is 21 days. Yeah. No, three meetings. Than, no, no, three it's, meetings it's every, is every two meeting weeks, every other so, other week, so, so it's, oh, it's six weeks plus 21 days is 80-something days. That's almost two months and a quarter. How do I withdraw my... Thank you. <laughs> but the, uh, quickly, you didn't make a motion, quickly, so you don't have to yeah. withdraw anything. But um, my point is, is that I think, you know, um, it's hearsay to me, but there's somebody not happy on the board, and somebody else is a no-show, and do we really want to wait that long to build a board? Um, I think we need to build a board, and that way somebody is sick or whatever or you have something happening you know it's still a board and it's a full functioning board I think the more people there's a certain amount of positions on the board for that reason that it gives diversity so I think that for the board's um, diversity in people I think to fill the positions of people that don't want to be here or can't make it or can't make the meetings that I, I would say 21 days and they're, you, you run it, but how long has it been being run already? So factor that in and then cut it to two weeks and with extra counseling from Bob, I think that would make up for the third week. So that it would cut it back by 20, by 14 days at least to like around maybe over 60 instead of 80 or something. So I think to, in the interest of the board and having diversity, and members on it that can be on it, uh, I think it's imperative that we try to move it in a streamlined manner, granting all of what you said, except for the time period that it's, I think, is going to construct to do that, is like 80 something days to put a person on the board. So and there's already people that aren't happy so with the holidays you, are coming. Would you so like to amend the motion? I would uh, like to amend it to a period of time with the 21 days already being logged in, not to exceed. Um, two meetings from that point, so it's at least like forty something days. You know, is realistic half of what we're planning to do. Like so, so it's so done. So it sounds like instead of cutting down from three meetings, you've cutting it down to two meetings. And, and twenty one days plus two. Well, how meetings. about the twenty one days has already started, right? Well, how about this? So how, about this? how long are we? Oh, what about twenty one days? What about what about two meetings? Wait, wait, wait. I think how, we can do it. How many days have come on the calendar since the twenty first? You know, how many days are left for that twenty first? Well, thing? why don't we do? How about if we post for fourteen? And Almost two, okay. and there now we we've, well, we've taken works. a third of the time. Right, right on, right. We'll right on. And right two right meetings, sir. fourteen days and two meetings. So, okay, I so make a motion. Uh, uh, yeah, let's let's amend that. We we have our PMs here, so I just want to get right. going if we can. I'll um, make a motion to amend Bob's motion to change from twenty-one days to fourteen days posted, and three. Two. 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 And um, have a potential applic the applicant visit us for two meetings. But not necessarily, because we don't make that. So okay. that's a recommendation, not a law. Okay. Well, I think we want to, we, do we want to say two meetings? I mean, again, we can craft this however we want and then bring it upstairs, so. So we could go through all that time period and change his mind, and then you got to start all over yeah, again. Yeah, so let's do it as fast as we can. Well, I think that's, that's the thing, that having multiple applicants too, right? So that's that's actually a good thing, because hopefully, you know, right. yeah. I think this last round we actually had three applicants. We didn't get to Interview, you know, so there's multiple people, that would, which is good. That 14 days would include from the posting of the ad that's already So they get the times can overlap, right? Right. That, they possibly would, that, would, that would start mm -hmm. on the date that that was already issued, not today. Okay. That, that type of thing would already start. It's already been in the papers. Right, it's so 14-day so. posting. Right. And then two, two, meetings. two meetings with the ability for those time frames and, to overlap. And, yes. then it, and then the interview. And then an interview okay. of the applicant, so we can make a recommendation. on the second meeting. Right. After they do the second the meeting, second we'll do it afterwards. So is so let's, <laughs> let's so is is there a second to that motion? I'll second that. All right. So a motion has been made and seconded to have a 14-day posting period, um, have a, a two-meeting um, process where they sit in, which can overlap the posting, and then an interview following that. So all those in favor of an that interview following at that second meeting. That should be another meeting, meeting too. That's fine. Right, one further question. If, uh, let's say someone, you know, I, I, I know what you're trying to ask, what I'm qualified, saying. Uh, has been on the board before and had to take a leave of absence, but wanted to get back on it, uh, would you, they don't need could you put a, a waiver in a, for anybody that you knew that uh, had a background from another town? Uh, 
instead of advertising, you know, this person's already qualified, then you would want them pretty much right away if they were accepted and by the board or whatnot. Is it, we have people that have been before the board multiple times as users of the board who know how the board runs. Myself, myself they've included. Had, yeah. They've myself had included, firsthand yeah. usage, yeah. so they the two meetings they've already been here as as the other side of the board, but they've known how the board operates. The, I, I agree I with all of that. All the, the only problem is the same. when you have exceptions, it just it's, right. it's just hard to draw the line of, of where point. the exception starts. I'll move, move the question because it's time for the first yeah. hearing. Do, do we have to do this We're after today? the first hearing. Yes. Can we think of them? Okay. We're ten minutes late on the first hearing. <clears> yeah, so the right. motion's been made. The yeah. motion has been seconded. Discu Formal. Let's so let's vote to the close discussion okay. on the on the. Uh, on the motion, all those in favor yep. of closing discussion? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay, let's vote on it. All those in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Aye. Okay, so we have uh, motion carries with um, one negative. Um, all right. Okay, right, so here we go. Let's, let's get to our hearings. All right, um, the first, it is 721. The uh, first hearing is a notice of intent for Coppola Estates, Kelly, DEP file number SE056-0961, amendment to the subdivision plan. This emergency one of the most of And this is, I know, large one. Please it's not you. <laughs> is our applicant here? Yes. I'm going to put these out here and take a run. Good evening, gentlemen. Okay. Everybody, uh, person at the hearing, please state your name for the record. And, and, and who you're and who you're. Uh, Chris Anderson, Maryland Engineers and Land Surveyors. Okay. And uh, Owen Kelly for Copperwood Circle Builders. Okay. Are you here for this hearing, sir? Yes. You can you state your name for the record, please? Uh, Stephen Dolenfio, Five View Avenue. Okay, and you're you're in a butter. Mm -hmm. You're in a butter to this. No, he he's. Oh, he's in another hearing. Yeah. No, okay, so I'm you're here for, here for here another hearing. Okay, okay. Just okay. Thank you. All right, the stage is yours. Oh, nice. Uh, good evening. So uh, we're here before you tonight um, to request an amendment uh, for the order conditions for Cockwood Estates, um, notably the wetland crossing portion of the project. Um, originally, this is the approved um, crossing, as is, which we have the order conditions on. Um, it's a span crossing utilizing uh, retaining walls. Up here are the orange are your retaining wall sections. Kind of give you a side profile here um, with culverts running through in these locations. You can see in the profile view here. Um, and we are now proposing this. a bridge crossing, um, basically timber steel construction, um, pile driven through the crossing. So Beautiful. we're looking at substantially uh, less impacts to the wetlands. Uh, really? We get some numbers on that for you. So as originally proposed, we were altering 3,700 uh, square feet in this new proposal. We are now down to 1,560 square feet. Um, Owen, if you want to add anything to yeah, so our, our, this was always an idea we had, but we were working with a couple contractors and engineers. Um, and so until we had that, we wanted to have something that was firmed up and we understood and we had the people, you know, lined up for. Um, so 
So we had a group, Ekman Engineering, out of New Hampshire. Um, they do this kind of bridge all the time. Um, they, we have them put this design together, um, and they work with a couple contractors who have done bridges throughout New Hampshire and Massachusetts. Um, and it just, uh, as opposed to digging up the entire bridge crossing, we we're talking about building it as you go and driving it as you go. Um, so you reduce the impact, even the temporary impact, down. Um, you still keep the water lines in, uh, in ground as it is now. Um, but as far as, you know, clear span, obviously before you had culverts before, like four foot wide culverts. Now you're talking 30 foot spans um, that are completely open um, with clearances, I think, uh, around like six feet, six to eight feet at their deepest. Uh, but again, you're just whatever the grade is now. What's the total span of that bridge? Like 250 feet. Oh, yeah. It's a long, yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a long wetland cross. It's a, it's a, it's a really great 30, alternative. 30. Yeah. I think it's a fantastic alternative myself. I think it's, yeah. it's other cool, other cool footings thinking. under those pilings? Um, abutments on each side match the existing grade of the road that we had proposed with the other design. Um, but basically just, you know. So they're pilings. A lot piles. Piles. Yep. The pilings. Yeah, less no. impactful to the crossing. Yeah. Similar to like a marine. Pile. Okay. Yep. Okay. And it won't be less than five or six feet. You're saying six to eight, so it really the and the, the yeah. widest portion. Yeah. So it, all the we're maintaining the existing grade. Where I think at some places it's still it's close to four feet. Yeah, um, whereas before it get down to like two or three feet because of well, all the the road structure. I remember like when that. we were talking. Uh, we were looking up in the trees to set the road elevation. Um, and we're looking at 9 to 12 right, somewhere right, right, in there, so right. that's really good. Yeah. You ready for questions? Sure. Yeah. Uh, if I could just add um, one other item. Yep. Um, originally with all the alteration to the wetlands, um, we had proposed replication areas. Um, kind of give you an idea of where those were proposed. Is important. So we had two proposed uh, replication areas, uh, a big one over here, 7,200 square feet behind lot one, and another one over here, 1,800 square feet. Um, now with the reduction in the alteration, um, we're requesting to not do the replacement there and leave that as a natural buffer zone. Um, and this area right here is over a one-to-one -one ratio of what the new alteration was. As long as you're on that part of it, that's, that was my tail end of questions, but yep. I'll start with that. Now that we, if we do allow you this and we take away that hot big area of replication, that's part of a house lot. Yep. And it's also upland. Yep. Which means that in your narrative you said we'd <coughs> like to keep it as a natural area, yep. but if if it's upland, the owner of that house could easily petition us Correct. to do it unless you can cover it some way to keep it natural. Right. No, I, I you, right, exactly. Um, I think that would be the trade off there is, is um, like we don't have the okay. intentions to build on it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that would, that would be the trade off there. I mean, is there, do you think there's a, would, could you put something in your, I mean, Would I'd, you? I'd, I'd uh, rather not. I, I, like I said, I don't have plans to do that, but obviously it, it affects the value of the lot, the, you know, the amount of upland, you know, lawn like or, or things like that. Like a deed restriction How big is that lot? Uh, it's big. It looks big. Um, yeah. It's yeah. One, yeah. one seven, one, so 17 it, maybe. It is big. Um, the but trick, a lot of it's wet too. Yeah. yeah. One of the yeah. tricks yeah. is <laughs> the, where the septic systems can be located. You know, it only it kind of limits you to have like um, about a 40 foot backyard, even even if we, you know, square it off there. Um, All right. And then my other part of it would be, we usually want two to one mm. replication, and yep. we're we're getting about 1.1 1 .1 to yeah. one something like that. So maybe we could split the difference. Um, and like come up with some kind of square off pattern here 
I'd rather you leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather you leave it alone. Well, doing some small pieces only is a lot of work for no real, real value. Um, I'm just I'm throwing some things that I, oh, yeah, yeah. at you that that. Yeah. Uh, so so what I'm saying is if we could hit that two to one. Yeah. You with the, that way that way. Yes, sir. I think you're probably hitting it because your water pipe is in the ground and you're going to be, the, what you figured for your water pipe is going to eventually go back to natural again because it's in the ground. So that's probably almost enough to bring it up to okay. at least one and a half to one or okay. something like that. Yep. Uh, I just assume you not touch a, a, a virgin area and hope the people never, u never use it rather right. than do it. But, uh, uh, that that kind of I don't know maybe someone else has something on that yeah. that part of the subject, but uh, I think when you can leave it alone is good. But I think also the you know the type of replication you are doing instead of the fox culvert is is very admirable. I think he has a good you know idea of the water main and this and Bob usually hits the nail on the head. So I would support Bob's opinion on this one, even though I really thank you for that bridge. It's a really great forward thinking process you guys are doing. I would just say on a, on a personal basis, I'm not in favor of destroying good upland to replicate wetlands that probably are going to fail in a number of years anyway. So mm. maybe not a discussion for this particular one, but that's just just my view that, on the yeah, whole thing. Well, that's the view we have anyway. But this, yeah. this has you know, been voted in, I guess, obviously anyway, uh, you yeah. know, prior to. I think replication yeah. done with the right stuff actually doesn't fail. That's what I feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think we're, I, I we're don't, I don't have a problem with, with, with that. I just wanted to bring that. My next one is, has this bridge plan been looked at and okayed by fire, police, DPW? Have any of them, no. have any of them had comments? No, what I'd like yet. to say, I'd like to have a letter from yep. all of the safety mm -hmm people and all that you're saying that they were they went along with it. I mean I I go idea. along with it but I yeah. want to make sure that we aren't stepping on their toes and giving them something that they're gonna say it was your fault. That's yeah. a great idea. I think we wanted to make sure that Concom was favorable on it. If we wanted to not vote on it for now and as you know we can get those kind of letters and things like that. Um, that that makes perfect sense, or however the board would like to go. And, we could also and DEP. I, well, and, and yeah. I think we're going to have to probably bring it back to the ZBA. You know, yeah. Just well, because I, I of the change in road width, yeah. a, a bridge width, and stuff like that. And I like to make sure that DEP, Lakeville, or someone yeah. at least knows we're doing this. I mean, yeah. sometimes oh, yeah. paperwork can slide in and out of their office, and, and they're never doing. I mean, at least if we send, if you send them a letter and say yes, yep. this is what we're going to do with it. No, we're yep. covered. Yep. Fire, police, ZBA, Fire, police, DEP, DPW, DPW, DPW. Yeah. Yeah, there's a plan, you know, planning. Uh, plan, yeah, well, uh, zoning, which yeah, is zoning. Yeah. At the, at the right. So, I mean, there's a whole slew yep. of folks. Yep. Um, yeah. But I think, you know. I think it's a great idea if, if, yeah. if all of the other, in fact, to, to save them from really coming back to us, I would like to say we accept this amendment provided they can furnish us with the letters that uh, yeah. we've we've asked pending, for that, pending, those other yeah, approvals, pending, yeah. Yeah. pending approval by the all of those people all right want to make okay. a, is that a I motion? make that a motion yeah are we making a motion second. to close yeah. yeah make a motion to close I'll make a motion to close second with um, Bob's um, request for the different letters DPW DEP ZBA that will actually be in the motion. Be so the yeah, we, so we, we have a motion oh, okay. on, that's been yeah. made and seconded to close the hearing. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Yeah. Okay. The hearing is closed. Uh, we, have a, we have a motion. I don't know if you want yeah, to take in if you wish. To accept the, uh, the amendment. Uh, what we also get more. The amendment with the letters from, from the five or six five. people. And also to release the whatever you want to call that large. What do you, what do you want to call the large 
replication area. Because we need to be able to release yeah. that also. We have it labeled as replication area 1B. And okay, and that we will need two replication C area 1B. And, and 2C. Wouldn't that, would that just be 2C will Yes. 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 What's in that replication no, area now? Yeah, it's all part of what they're on. Uh, just some natural buffer zone. A lot of briars. Okay, yeah. so motion <coughs> made. Do we have a second? I'll second Bob's motion. Okay, so a motion has been made and seconded to approve this pending subsequent approvals from those uh, five agencies. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Please note that any person aggrieved by this decision has the right to appeal within 10 business days. Please contact our office or DEP if you need assistance. All right. Okay. Good plan. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. That's awesome. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I was telling you the other day. Good. Good. Coffee's originals. Thank you. Mark, well, we have a half a second. I don't know why we can do this with an amendment. Is the regulations say if what we're changing is for the better rather than for the worse, we can do it with an amendment. If it was the other way around, we'd have to have a complete new hearing to do it. Right, new file mm. it, it, it is. That's a huge minute. upgrade. Um, okay, from the process <coughs> that we're going to go into. Replication. It's we okay, it's uh, it's seven. Oh, it's the seven thirty-five. Yeah. The next hearing is a request for determination of applicability for Five Fairview That's Avenue, okay. Olympio sure extension of deck. I get it for you. Right. Thank you, Owen. So, is anybody present for Five Fairview? Oh, it was just there. Mm -hmm. Probably. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good evening. Good to see you. Sorry, keep you waiting. Hi. Can I pull up your chair? Your mind? Sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Right here, there. Get comfortable. There you go. I'm Steve. Hi, Steve. Can you just you? Meet you? State your full name for the record, sir. Excuse me? State your full name for the record, please. Stephen A. Delimpio. And your address is 5 Fairview Avenue. Okay. The stage is yours. Oh, tell, sure us what, to do. tell us uh, what you'd like to do. Oh, I want, my deck is, I'm tired of fixing my deck. Because I'm on the windward side of the pond, the back of the house. So rather fix the deck again, I'd like to tear the deck down and add a room with five more feet. Just follow the outside of the house mm -hmm. out in you know, five more feet towards the water. So it'll probably be uh, 15 or 16 by 15. Oh, uh, do you so, have plans yeah. to add a, a deck to that afterwards or not? I'm sorry, my, my ears are so to, plugged up. Do you have plans to add a deck to that afterwards or not? No. No, so it appears that that's no. the existing All done deck. With making you know, decks. The well, addition. because my windward side of the pond is I had to take trees down. Oh, yeah. right? You I get everything. Yeah, I couldn't eat out there. The sun's the wrong part of the day to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. you know? How long did you live there? I've lived there 35 years. Wow, that's beautiful. Right. Okay. Long time to do the wind. I think it's, un it's unbelievable. Do you know, um, as, as the deck sits today, how many feet away are you from the high water mark of the pond? From the water mark? The, I don't the high water mark of the, of the pond, yes. I don't know. I think it's around 20, 25 feet. Yeah. But What's, I, the I mean, height, I'm just What's the height difference from, say, the high level of the pond well, to the ground where you are sitting? Well, it's more than that. Then. So because it's, it's once they do the work between Big Sandy and Little Sandy yeah. to level it off, yeah. it's pretty much, within reason, it stays pretty much yeah, about the about, same. Yeah, but I remember what would you say the elevation is from the water? water so it's, water's uh, down there. And one inch equals Land 30, is here. so Three, it must be about feet. 40. More? Six feet? So, six feet. So, so he's, he's, 40 feet 40, so he'll, he's going to take six another feet. six off. Yeah, he's going to be 30 feet. Yeah, yeah. and he's, he's also, feet. Feet. this height's the the about six feet higher than the pond. That's the water. 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 That's the thing I want to put on there is going to be the bottom floor. This is the additional six feet he wants to Is it right on the ground? Actually, so you're going to do a frost wall? Here, it drops about six foot to the water. 
under the building? There's, there's there's no, no. I talked to the guy yeah. that's going to uh, do it. He's going to put it. Impression that he's yeah. going I guess over on half of slab no. with uh, is it it's right right frost wall. Yeah, right on frost wall. Under it, you have to put a frost wall. Yeah, yeah. Sir, do you know if the construction is it going to be hand dug or is there a big machine going to come in? This is a perfect example of stuff that. He said he's going to bring a small machine to tear the deck down and and dig for the footing. Okay. okay. So like a small backhoe? Yeah. Okay. Like Nothing a, a drastic. Mantis. Is, uh, you know, they have mantises that are like 36 inches wide. But um, are you going to put the soil on site? Is there room to do that? or? There's room back behind the house. See there? there is. Well, there's, you see, or, you know, if you have a house anyway, there's a pond right here. Yeah. So he's got, he's got yards back here that he can stack it. And then, the main yep. thing is we're going to, going to need a siltation so barrier, barrier around on that lower just edge just so that nothing up. Just so nothing rolls down if there's a storm. Oh, we you put hay? Will you put hay uh, there it's a round something? thing hay, now. Hay bales or hay socks? Yeah. Okay. Hay socks oh, easier. Changer. I can't keep up with it. <laughs> hay so uh, socks easier to remove also afterwards. It's hay bales are kind of heavy when they get wet. We'll have it written down for you. Yep. Yeah. Hay socks are at the ones above. Yeah. Yeah, I think, right. What is the diameter? Well, 12? well uh, there we want 12 inch yeah, 12 because inch. we're right by the by the pond. We do don't want to take a do chance. Do we want a double or no, one single? Again, one. as long as they don't they stack their diggings correctly. Yeah. In other words, you put your diggings right on top of the uh, sock and then it's going to go over. This, if he has to move anything, he can bring it over here because that's the uh, this is all woods through here. This is just a small easement yeah. between the two houses. Yeah, this is so everything you would move is going to come out that but way. But that's somebody else's lot, correct? This is your lot line? Yes. So, so whose no. property's over here? Right, so you don't want to right. be. You don't want to be. This is all going, woods. Yeah, you don't want to go right, through the woods. Right, but it's still somebody else's <laughs> I think property. It's the towns. Yeah, you don't want to go through yeah. the it's woods. It's either the towns or a local um, cranberry guy. Yeah. You don't want to go I through the woods. I can never get a straight can, answer. If you can right. uh, come around know. and stay on your own property, that would be definitely the way to go. We're just talking about a silt sock, a simple U shape of silt sock, so if there was any runoff, it would stop it before it hits the pond. It's simple. I should have probably had him come with me, but I don't know why I'm all new to this. Okay. Uh, silt sock well, standard. I mean, I'll be able to talk to him. Yeah. Move or close. All right, second. I'll second that motion. A motion has been made and seconded to close the hearing. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay, that yeah. carries unanimously. Move we issue a negative. Three negatives good now. Don't get it. All right. <laughs> Standard boil. And, 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 and this is an RDA, right? Yeah. right. Yes. yes. Uh, the guy okay. that's going to do it was he's a registered established builder. Mm -hmm. But he well, got, well, I'm not like I'm not everybody kind of Does he have, just, does he have a hydraulics and, license? Because I can't do Trying second story somewhere. work anymore, yeah. and ladders yeah. are just like. I move we issue a negative three with the yeah, following said, conditions. I got to do something. That a silt sock be installed between the work and the pond in a U manner to make sure no siltation runs down to the pond and the stockpiling be done such that the siltation won't occur. And wood chips on the up one side just to check it in. Yeah, yeah if it's very smooth, that yeah. a sock usually lays down pretty yeah. good. If, Maybe yes, if it's got a low area, yeah. it's just better. It's real soon, so. And that, again, the same regular boilerplate that says that before you do any digging, that sock has to be in, and, and someone from the board has to check it out to make sure it's in properly. I'll second Bob's motion. Okay, a motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Please note, any person aggrieved by this decision has the right to appeal within 10 business days. Please contact our officer, DEP, if you need assistance. So you are uh, conditionally good, sir. This will be written up for you. Just realize That's that... the lady I will be dealing with? Yeah. Rachel, we, yes. We kind of know each other. Okay. Yeah. So just realize that somebody has 10 business days to appeal this decision. Right. So you might not want to start come. ahead. I really don't. I only have a neighbor next to me mm -hmm. it, looking at the water, the neighbor next to me. This is all wood and people across the yeah. street. Oh. Nice. So un nice. unofficially, if there's nobody here, chances are nobody is going to do it. But yeah. if you do anything... You're doing it it's at, at your, your own risk. risk. We're, yeah. we're not giving you permission until 10 days after it's signed. That's fine. Okay. That's, that's everybody. That's the way it is. So, uh, I, will I need some paperwork from you later? Yeah. I will be sending it to you in the mail, sir. Okay. Mail. Um, but like they said, 
start, but it's at your own risk prior to you receiving the No, building. once I get everything I need from you, I will contact the guy that's going to build through the building. Okay. And then I will s listen, I waited for 30 years to do this. If I don't <laughs> get it done before Christmas and the frost, yeah. I'll be a happy boy. Great. There you go. All right. Okay. Thank you, sir, and uh, thank best you. of luck to you. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. Okay. Have a great thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. It is 746. Our next hearing is a request for determination of applicability for 35 Blue Jay Way. Van Den Torn, removal of brush and trees. Are you guys here for 35 Blue Jay Way? Nope. Anybody here for 35 Blue Jay Way? Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Good evening, sir. Please uh, state your name for the record. Uh, uh, Bernard Van Den Torn. Welcome. Please tell Thank us you. what you'd like to do. Um, so we wanted to cut down some brush um, and remove the stumps uh, behind our house, uh, as outlined on the on the drawing. I don't know if you've had time to look at that, but it's uh, basically a 50 feet wide swath, um, about uh, 30 feet uh, deep, so to speak. Um, there's a floor plan. Okay. So you you bought. So just as you're looking at this yeah. diagram, are you looking at this area right here? Correct. That's exactly it. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so is this just for aesthetics, or what? It, what? It, what's your reason? Yeah. So I mean, we have a we have a big lot, and we realize there's wetlands, obviously, and a buffer zone, but we would like to yeah extend our yard uh, a little bit uh, further. Um, so we have a sort of a, an area that we can, you know, make a patio. Mm -hmm. So this right here, here is that an existing like a house. walkout uh, from yeah. a, a patio, a walkout in a patio here? here? Correct. Yeah. So you're looking to extend that? Yeah, or to at least make yeah something on its own here in this. In this Where's the wetland start? Yeah. So if yeah. we're, <coughs> can you help us out okay. here, Bob? Well, I'm, a, I'm in my education hat is going on now. There's wetlands here, but the wetlands that are there are not state regulated wetlands. They're only federal regulated wetlands, which means because they're not state, we don't have any jur. We do have jurisdiction, but we don't really have jurisdiction over them. And there is no buffer zone. It gets very, very complicated. But what it really means is that we can't do anything in that federal wetlands because. That subdivision already has used up all the credits they had. So if he can work up to the edge of the wetland, right. what's shown as the federal wetland here. And after that, we yeah. can't. But I think you've got all, I think what you're got proposing is well within the work that you'll yeah. be working. Yeah, I think yeah that so. would be what, my question. What is where the is actual yeah, distance where is this? from? I mean, let's see. Here's, here's the federal. Yeah. There's a federal here. Yeah. This is the house. That's what I say. It appears that there, you know, there's a lot of, lot there. But uh, and what is the we actual wetland We really need line. to look and see this where the, the wetlands wetland are. Line. I don't know if there are any of the this knots are still in any of the trees back there. Yeah. But you can pretty well there's tell no where. I think you're I safe. That's, right. that's a magnifying glass, it's one of those iffy places no, that will. There's three or four of them in that. Right. Can I see that Yeah, I know. Where is Blue Jay Way? You know, Blue, so, what, it's in the crossroads. Um, is it off the forest? Oh. Yeah, off the yeah. forest. Okay. Valley. You don't see it from here. And it's in the Blue's center the piece. And although it's Blue Jay, it makes around. This is these are in the center. They aren't even on the outside That's edges. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So low area is in the. the it's surrounded here. by a road to this begin line. with. Here. Oh, so that's just the wet one. Right okay. It almost comes so up beside right the house. Here. This is the centerpiece um, yeah. um, of all the birdie. Yep. The yeah. Cars, yeah. Right yeah. Here. The birdie. So, so this is his parcel right here. Okay. Okay. So okay. 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 And what's that? The box next to it? It should be green, 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 but it's red. The red box there? Yeah, it comes right out. Right behind the house. The actual wet one. This is considered a cranberry box. So at one time, it was cranberry. He wants to come out 
spot. They were well, roughly 50 never, to 30 yeah, feet. So it's 50 to here. And then he wants to add 30, 50, 60, 70, 80 feet. Right? So he wants to clear that. He wants to come out 80 feet from the house. And that would be putting him So your lot backs up to another Really neighbor. right into. Yeah, yeah, on the other side. So this is. Uh, I'm not for it. I mean, he's got, yeah. he's got a big lot. And is it, are there any abutters here? Want to do uh, it, we have what to is say, he, he going to want to He do? wants to take all these trees just, to put some structure sure. in here. Yeah. But he's already really close on this one. Uh, and the vegetative line. Then everybody does it. Right, and then you do one. Everybody's going to want to kick, this guy especially is going to want to kick his yard out to match. And According to Bob, we don't have any authority. You know, right, also, I'm just saying. So it's, it doesn't look applicable to me. But. Do we know where is that other part of the building? Is to, 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 to they want to put, do we know where push the yard is back more. Here. And, um, it's already a big like yard. The neighbors have a small yard. I'm curious to see where this one do it. With the scud rolling? Oh, well, everybody can do it. You think it's way back in here? Yes, it is, but it's a wetland. They've already used up all their wetland credits. So we can't do any more clearing anywhere because they've already done all the clearing they can for that development. They've used up their credits on that. Okay. So. This is, See what the wizard says. Here is, some, is about 110 feet. <coughs> yeah, no, roughly, you know, if this this is 117 there, and that's yep. two inches, it'll become this way. Two inches is 117, 120. And he's saying this line here is 50. So as you depicted this, what is that 50 feet? Where is yeah, that? Where is that from? This is this is actually it's 40 feet from the from the garage here to the to the fence line. We have a fence here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is 60 feet, 61 feet. Okay. So that is uh, okay. So this line is indicating 50 feet. This one's actually 40. You're saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is 60. You can Correct. see the clear line through all the houses, backyards. You know where it is. Yeah. And, and you're going to have everybody oh. else saying oh. they want to also. I'm unsure of this. I, I yeah. guess the, this federal and state jurisdiction thing is. Yeah. is yeah. Um, I'm not sure that we and, don't know what we're doing. I think, yeah. um, you know, so so you're you're just looking to clear it and yeah. you're going to plant grass there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so um, building. I, I would, it's, I guess, personally, I would say that uh, you know, I don't believe that the nature of this is something that has to be rushed. I think we should understand this better because I don't particularly understand the difference between the federal yeah, and, I, I, and the state uh, jurisdictions and the differences between the two. Well, I'm not the comfortable. Federal has, the federal, the biggest thing is the federal has no buffer zone. So in other words, they, they're, it's just a jurisdiction. The line line. Is the line. <coughs> but, but if it was state, it would have a buffer zone. And it was all designed with this plan with these lots and accepted as such, right, when these were built. It came before the board to develop it. Oh yeah. They're right. All, so oh, it was already determined that for all the lots that that would be the same. In other words, well, they, they're, all, they're the all restricted only, equally the by the same law. as much as the builder wanted them cleared. Right. right. It wasn't. Exactly. It wasn't. That so you it can't was, clear more at that time. There were no posts less. put in that said no intrusion or anything. So there was no restrictions. There's just, no restrictions. Right, it's just a. It's just a different piece of of wetland than. Where it gets into a complicated area, Rick, is if you wanted to fill that, any of it, yep. and replicate, then it gets real complicated yep. because they've used the federal, That's they've right. already filled right. as much federal that. land putting the roads in and so forth. So they can't do any filling because we've run into right. this. And a couple of other places right. where they had small areas. And the Fed said, no, you've already used up all, so like all said, your credits right. for this thing. It's already but you can, they can go up to that line with no problem at all. Is there a grade change here, or is this basically no, flat? No, not a lot of grade change. It's, oh. it's pretty much all all the same through the whole area. I would recommend myself that it be an actual engineer, you know, a better plan so we know grades. We're not we're looking at kind of a flat piece of paper. There's no real plan here. Yeah. Well, I think further consideration, at least. Like I said, we don't really know which way here to really turn, and if you don't know, I think Aaron caution and further discussion would oh, kind of be, learn more. We've got well over, we've got 120 feet behind the house. Mm -hmm. I think I plan. 
and he's looking for a hundred. Oh, he said this was a forty from. He's saying uh, he's saying this is forty. Yeah, and this is sixty. Sixty so, from that. But we're looking at a hundred, so we're we're well within our hundred feet. How many yard is exactly? It is this big because that's as much as we could get out of the builder. Huh. Um, otherwise, it would have cost us. How long have you lived this? Uh, eight years. Eight years. Yeah. And how old is the subdivision? Fifty by oh, thirty it, area. Well, it runs Ten, anywhere from nine. eight to twelve so years. Are you the original owner of this house? I am. Yeah. 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 He'll want to. Yeah, he'll he'll want to go. Like he'll yeah. want to. Okay. Again. And we're not really sure. I thought that neighborhood yeah. might. Have been I just a better plan than more knowledge. Do you have any plans to replace the trees anywhere else? Plans to replant? Um, well, that was the next I, thing. I mean, we've, 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 planted, we've already planted a couple of trees in the yard. And there's an apple tree here, a pear tree here, there's uh, hot thorns here. Um, I mean, the, the, the brush we're, we're taking now is mostly brush. The trees, the, the, the thickest diameter is this, which is a birch. Okay. Um, so I don't know if those qualify. So you also uh, mentioned stump removal. Yeah. So are there other, you know, mature, or, you know, stumps that have been taken down previously, or not you, that I know of. No. So what were you qualifying as stump removal when you were when you mentioned that? Taking the stumps off the trees. Just down. those small diameter trees. The, the brush, just, everything. Are you talking about taking off the yeah. topsoil completely and replacing it, or just going after you remove it? No, I just want to make sure that if we make yard out of that, that so it's be something to basically. Have you talked to anybody about how much fill you'd have to bring in here to to basically do this? Yeah, we're figuring yeah. that out right now. We, 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 we right just now. don't have enough information. I, I, yeah, I, I I don't feel I have enough information to. To vote yeah, on this tonight. I'd, I'd like to see a better plan. So I'd like to know how much fill is being brought okay. in. It's, I'd like to actually take a walk on the mobile. site to see what we're looking at too, personally. So that's, that's I mean, fine. Yeah, I mean, it's been done for other houses in this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. so, so I don't know what the president has done. Is. All in this, right. this is not the not the first case. It's not the first one by any means. Okay, no. that's so good to ask if they all so went through the board. Yeah, they've all been through the board. Also, if everyone else got approved for it, did, they, did they have a better plan, or was no, it as simple is, as this? This is, basic, this, okay. this is a basic plan. No, I know it's basic, very basic. No. I mean, it, it, what I would suggest is I can go back and we can find where this line is. It's easy to tell back there where your where your line is, and uh, it's an area that is not protected by the state, so right. there is no buffer. We right, you know, that we recognize. And, uh, also, is we're really we're protecting the federal, which really isn't a job, but it is yeah, yeah, because there's no federal to agency to protect it. Yeah, but, I, I, but it's not not in our calling that we have jurisdiction over the over the federal. But we do know it's there, so we're um, taking care of it. But I I find no reason we can't if we can come back and find where the line is and it's less than what he's asking for. I would, it's no I would also like to see a couple of the other plans just so we know what else was like applicable at that situation, not in, in compare. Look yeah, at we some can other pull ones that have been all approved. Some others that have been approved. All around that, the other side of Blue Jay, where Blue Jay goes down to Blackbird. Yeah. Down the Blackbird, there's two or three right on that corner that have been That's done. Right. There should be one it's up the other side of Blackbird. There's a one yeah. in there that has been done recently. There's one at the far end of Blackbird. There's some down at the other end. I, I think they all have a unique challenge, and I'd like to see how the others were met. Um, I think just we need more time and more education on it. Myself. So, it, does it sound like the, the members are trying to um, be certain that <coughs> this extension of the clearing stays in the upland and doesn't go at the wetland? And we're having we, a hard we don't time really telling between here and here. And I think, I think that's that, the problem. You know? This is It's hard to relate this yeah. to this because yeah. there's no scale here. Or right. Right. We don't know where this line actually exactly. is. Exactly. You can kind of see the actual right. line where the development was done. I mean, it's yeah. a pretty clear line. Oh, sure. um, oh there's no doubt where right. the stump was. The schematic yeah. was goes right up to the It wasn't stumped all the way to where it could be stumped. So did you? As you know, any builder is right, only, that's only going as far as they, by the they have to sure. go. Well, they like sure. to sell the biggest lot they can, too, because that's more square footage and money. So that's that's kind of a, you know, 
Are you saying that initially the builder could have cleared yeah, that could area? Have, could have cleared that, back, yeah. yeah. And then we wouldn't even be having this discussion. And that's what's happened with, with the other ones like this. In other words, once a house is sold, the people have moved in, they want a bigger backyard, so they've gone ahead and had more of it done. Well, what do we do when this guy comes along? He says he wants the same offset, and he wants to come all the way off here, all the way to that same offset. As long as he doesn't come back to this line, I, we really don't have same. any okay, jurisdiction. That's, that's what I'm asking. So I guess yeah. you're saying the same would apply. Yeah, the right. same would apply. As it has for the As it has with it, all of the rest of the yeah. So we're not um, able to protect it by state. Federal says it is what it is, and there's no... As, no long as, as long as you don't go in it, you're okay. Sandra, so you pass me that They're saying right? don't go in it. But yeah, this yeah. Is, where's that line drawn? I mean, uh, you bought it, you own it. I feel that's important. I just. How does the homeowner determine that his request this stays in the upwind? You, uh, well, you could have that wetland line reflagged back there. And, no, and, no, and show where it is. The chances are, if you go in there, you can probably find it if you know what you're looking for. Yeah, for point because point. they've tied ribbons, and the knots of the ribbons will still be there. almost always stay. The flagging all comes off, but the knots, the That's knots right. will will stay on there. Or you can go through having it, you know, having it be done. Right. Has anybody else um, had a had like a wetter situation that had to have that done, or with a drier? That's why it kind of like to see what else was done. Um, what do you mean weather or dryer? It's it's not yeah. wetland yet. Right, I'm saying that's what I'm asking. The other places that were done are similar to this in grading and, and such yeah. and uh, habitat. It was, it was considered upland when the right. when the flagging when the it was delineated, it was considered upland. It was just brushy and wooded upland. Right. Yeah, it's time, brushy. Right. As this is. The reason it's brushy there, all of that was almost all clear too at right. that time. So it's not probably too long ago. Uh, if when, you look, when Emory and those were in there. Before the subdivision went in, that was I, all going to be all cranberry bogs and all. And they cut everything down and there's a whole series of folders on that whole piece of property before and during and everything else. Uh, my my <laughs> knowledge is that um, there's two sides of it and we need information but as Bob just said um, the first things to come back are non-native invasive species Queensbrook is 95 percent non-native invasive species the whole place because it was stripped and not taken care of so sometimes removing and caring for it is better than what's there honestly I bet you there's a bunch of Russian olive there now which is nobody's friend so you'd be doing a good thing by maintaining it too um, so I see both sides of it, literally. And I don't have the knowledge, so I would say I would go with what Bob see, says on this one. Right. Again, yeah. because yeah. any any more discussion on this? Um, and is anybody uh, looking to uh, put up a motion to close the hearing? No. All right, we must close. A motion has been made to close the hearing. Second. A motion has been made and seconded. So, do we have a motion? Okay, I'd, like to move. I'd move when we issue a negative three. Let me go down and find the line for them. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yep. I, I I'll too. second that. Okay. Negative's good. So, okay. yeah. It's yeah. very good, actually. So, so um, a motion is made, and the stipulation there is that Bob will go down and help him find the line. I'm comfortable with that. Um, all those in favor? Uh, Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Okay. Right. So, please note that any person agreed by this decision has the right to appeal within 10 business days. Please contact our office or DEP if you need assistance. So, uh, you like that picture? Okay. Well, you go in my car. I spent more hours sure than I have to do it. I'm sure it has the nice cell. Whatever it's been, weekend, I'm around town. Right. A good part of the time, so okay. give me a call. I'll give okay. you a call? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. We're going out for a walk. <laughs> I bet you it's full of Russian olive, too. All right, sir, thank you very much. Good luck. And, uh, and again, Bob, uh, you know, yep. get in touch with Bob so we make sure we stay within the bounds of our decision here. Okay, it um, is 8.07.
We are late for our last hearing, which is a notice of intent for 50 Allen Street, McGill, DEP file number not yet issued. Construction of a single family home within the buffer zone. I thought it was pretty clever on the other one. It said totally. one old. Totally. It was waiting. It was waiting, but it never came, so Hello. I had to say that it wasn't issued. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Oh. Hello. Um, has everybody, uh, there's a lot of you here, has everybody signed in? No. Okay, there's a sign-in sheet right on the desk there. If you please do that to make sure we understand who's here. And then, uh, for the record, um, one by one, if you could state your name and address for the record. State, like... Where am I supposed to be? Yes. Yeah. I'm Lori and Charles Dennison. I live at 60 Allen Street. Okay. I'm Paul Kelleher, 1 Old Center Street. Donna Bagney, 68 Dwelly Street. Okay. Tom McGill, uh... The applicant, one of the applicants. Oh, dress? Dress, uh, 220 Center Street. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sir? Ron Ivel, applicant. Um, I certainly want to street, that's right. Okay, do we have... Uh, need some seats? Uh, Also part of it. The whole file, yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know if this is Ready, ready when you are. I'm not sure you're done. You can look at it later. Okay. 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 And your name and company, sir, for the record as well. associated with the pudding brick uh, and the herring run, which is this boarding vegetative wetland is associated with. So we push the building here to minimize impacts. The uh, septic system is located as far from the resource areas as possible on this front location here, front corner. The, uh, we're, we're proposing erosion controls around the perimeter of the project to mitigate any erosion and sedimentation to the resource areas during and uh, until slope stabilization has occurred. The uh, part that's different about this project is we are requesting that the commission allow that we fill approximately 1,500 square feet of wetland. Um, this is necessary because the zoning requires a 
building circle. Um, this is uh, uh, an example of how uh, regulations don't fit perfectly. I mean, the uh, this lot has 90,000 square feet, a large swath of upland, yet these little <coughs> tiny areas in the mathematical circle create an issue for, for this lot. Um, in that, 100% of the area in that circle is under the zoning bylaw needs to be upland. Um, it's such a small amount, 1,500 square feet, um, out of this big swath that's making you know, or potentially creating an unbuildable situation. The wetlands protection regulations under 1055-4, read 10 CMR 1055-4, allows the commission to uh, allow the applicants to fill up to 5,000 square feet of bordering vegetated wetland if they meet a certain criteria. And I've given you a narrative detailing what, what the criteria is and how we meet it. But basically, um, the first item or the criteria is that um, the surface replacement area of the fill equals the uh, replication area. So we're proposing 1,500 square feet of fill in these two locations in green, and we're proposing to enhance this edge of this bordering vegetative wetland um, with 1,500 square feet. Uh, the second is that the groundwater and surface elevation of the replacement be approximately equal to that of what's lost. Um, these areas are at elevation between 22 and 24. We have elevation 22 and 24 here as well. So they're approximating the elevation of the lost uh, wetland. The overall horizontal configuration and location of the replacement area with respect to the bank shall be similar. The project's not on a, a bank. Um, it doesn't really apply, but we have you know, fairly long and narrow configurations here. The replacement area should have an unrestricted hydraulic connection to the same water body. Both of these, all these wetlands eventually have a hydraulic connection with the Herring Run, Pudding Brook, uh, which is located about 950 feet away uh, to the northeast. Um, and that's uh, the same as number five. The replacement area should be located in the same general area of the water body. Um, so that they're all about 950 feet from from the river. The replacement area should be provided in a manner which is consistent with all other general performance standards. Um, and basically we've provided a, a, a two-year growing period in the narrative where 75% of the plantings are required to be, to, to have survived those two years and to, uh, you know, establish and basically uh, outcompete any invasives uh, that we have a good 75% coverage. We have also put together a planting plan uh, that details exactly the uh, replacement standards, details what types of plants and where they go. Um, when you are building these things, though, it's not 100% by the plan. We're not staking out each location. You have to kind of look at the site and see where these things fit. Um, but we're going to have th this quantity of plants, and they're generally going to be, you know, spread out. Could you read the list? Sure. We're uh, proposing uh, red maple, four red maple, um, 13, and that's the, those are the trees. The shrubs consist of summer sweet, clethro, winterberry, high bush blueberry, and uh, arrowwood. Mm -hmm. 13, 10, 9, and 5. And the uh, and we have a couple of ferns, uh, sensitive fern and cinnamon fern. Uh, nine. What were the last two? Uh, sensitive fern and cinnamon, cinnamon fern. Um, the, the red maple you're talking about, those are invasive. They're not American, are they? I am not the they're spade uh, maples. I don't believe they're American at all. These are uh, they're used, but I the, the red Ace of Rum Rum Red Sunsets. Yeah, there's a lot of names. Changing on. a hickory or something. No, um, 
I would say something evergreen if possible, maybe North Atlantic white cedars would be really appropriate change for the, instead of the maples, there's plenty of maples around. Sure. And they seed in nice. They'd have to be planted in groups because they lock their roots together. You can't space them, kind of group them. The, uh, I'm fine with switching that out. I'm just uh, referring back to our wetland summary form yep. that John Zimmer did, and he is indicating that the red maples are um, within the wetland resource area. Typically, we, you know, add more of what's already there, yeah. so we don't have to have a competition. Well, they're invasive, though, so. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just indicating yeah, know. what we yeah. What I, I process was. Um, I'd like to see bayberry and some witch hazel thrown in there as well, just to round it out. Um, the witch hazel especially, if you can put it somewhere, it really needs a hand. It's uh, very hard to germinate and put back anywhere. Okay. So that would be a real plus in my mind. And what was the first one, the cedar? Yeah, North Atlantic white cedar in groupings. And bayberry. And bayberry. But, um, are there going to be any... Um, you said two years. Um, two years is a very short time to out-compete invasives and uh, really make a change to a better environment. Um, Where uh, I don't believe there's invasives on the shoulder right now. If there there are, we will remove them. Uh, we're basically out-competing the invasives to our construction. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, and as you know, they love to germinate first, take over, and beat everything else back. Yep. So uh, sometimes I, I just wonder about the two-year. We've extended that in some other places, and um, I, I think the, the list is good, but I, I really question, can you really put an environment back in two years and, and make sure it flourishes? I, I personally don't believe that, but I know it's a standard, but I know it's been fluctuated here, sure. and I would I would like to see a few more years or larger stock um, instead, where instead of trying to write a C, you know, an OCC for X amount of years, just develop it with larger stock, and that kind of writes the OCC by itself. Um, what if we were to have, in two years, have a, a uh, wetland scientist uh, give an opinion of the uh, health, the health of it, and then the commission can work from that to whether to, uh, you know, close it, close the border or... What would be what, the, what on, on the here. maple trees, what would be the, uh, the chest height, the measurement, and um, the, the basic then number? We have one inch calipers at three or four feet is what we we're proposing. Didn't you just ask him to get rid of the maple trees? Right, I was asking what he was proposing for them so we could match it or upgrade it on the North Atlantic Cedars, that was the purpose of asking them. Um, I, I kind of feel that way. I'm not saying the board has to feel that way, but I feel you get a nice shot, you get a good lot, and you put in some nice cedars, and they're evergreen. They're uh, indigenous. They need a helping hand, and certainly witch hazels would be gone if we didn't put them back. I don't think we have an issue with that at all. I would mm -hmm. say, um, instead of the two-year plan, if you could buy an older tree, and instead of writing an OCC for a longer period of time, just put in a larger tree to begin with. That would be an idea to just kick around. Instead of writing an OCC, which can be difficult, just start with larger stuff. What's the history of this lot? Six to seven feet. Six to seven feet? Like, yeah. What's the history of this lot? Uh, you know, what, what's it historically been used for? Has there ever been a structure on this? I, I don't believe there's been a structure yeah, on it. It's associated been, with... There was a structure there. Um, with this about 12 lot, years yeah. ago, what? and it was uh, bought um, by 44 Allen Street. Um, she built a house there, and this was always wetlands. Oh. And since she built that house, they took the house down. <coughs> I live directly across the street from where this lot's going to be, and if you come by my backyard on heavy rainy days, it's like a river coming across that road going into my backyard. So the and by the way. If anyone had been paying attention, PA Landers has put mountains and mountains of their dirt while they've been doing the construction on Route 14 and this and that. And I know they're not supposed to have been doing that, but they filled that land in with truckloads after truckloads after truckloads. When was this? It's the last three years. It was there. 
day after day after day after day. Not a truck a week. One truck after another all day long. And I lived directly across the street from that grassy knoll, okay, across from High Street. And I've lived with that for four years. I open my front door every day. There's a porta party out there. I got 40 guys parking their trucks there. PA Landers trucks have been there for for four friggin' years, I had 30, 20 cops there every morning. They left their coffee cups blown in my yard. No one put the cop. I finally had to call the chief of police, let him know I appreciate okay. you guys. Do you guys, did you guys have a deal with Landers to bring Phil into the no, site? We're, we're purchasing the land. You're purchasing But so I will tell you, PA Landers, I wish I had a video saying, my God, how many trucks could they possibly put there a day? Never mind. And no okay, one that's ever. That's to do with the Route 14 yeah, project. Is that on that's, this property is or is that in the trial? This is where they put the train, the dirt, the train. in this slot. Is that piece of land in front of us right now? Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, well, talk, I think he's talking about something different. You're not talking about in the triangle, you're talking about on this lot. Is on this correct? lot. Next yeah. to the, next to that the triangle house. is where they park all their. Right. And believe right. me, if you went there the, tomorrow morning, you'd say, man, no one should have to live like this for four years. But that's where, the, that's where all the. And I mean, there had to be thousands of trucks filled in that wetlands. So who owns this lot right now? Do you guys own this lot? No. no. So who, who owns the lot? 44 Allen. 44. And are they present here today? No, no they are not. I'm actually the listing realtor. And there's been no uh, land or dirt delivered in the last three years to 50 Allen Street. Okay. Well, first of all, could you please state your name? I'll need tell to... her. Thank you. And what's your address, please? One Old Center Street. Thank you. And the reason it wasn't because they just had an agreement. The A members didn't have to truck it to wherever he was going to truck it in Plymouth, and that's where the, I wish I had videos. I, I think that needs to be verified. I absolutely. So, okay. you're claiming that it changed the, the natural grade of, of that lot? Is that what you're claiming? I, I, I've been where I live for 18 years, and for 12 years, my backyard was fine, and since. The house was built and the land, the water was put there. If you come and look at my backyard <coughs> on a rainy day, you'll see, wow, this is a, and I'm trying to work with my landscape to see how do I divert this, this water somehow. Uh, Kevin, when did you, when did your guy do the wetland flagging? February, February. So nothing's going to, this February? Yeah, February uh, 14th, 2018. Any other comments uh, from the other abutters? Um, sure. Charles Dennison, 60 Allen Street. Before you hit the water table. Uh, I'm the abutter to the southeast. Um, I'm just interested. That, do you mind if I gesture here? This, your leaching field right here, there's a stone wall right here. This is just, I'm, I'm just trying to be observant here. This is a stone wall right here. It's about 300 years old, and I'm just interested in, is there any kind of plan for making sure that stays intact? Yeah, we're, we're not going to know the other That's on the property line, so we can do that. Well, the, the, the leaching field looks like it's within... How many feet off the How many feet? wall is that? Actually, I don't have a location of the wall. Um, we can get a location of it. Um, it's it's adjacent to where we did the test holes, though. We can. Uh, and we did the test holes. We did the test holes on the corner. See right there, and it wasn't in. Obviously, we didn't just start the wall. Behind. No, no, that's where the. And yeah, that's where the uh, leaching field is. Yeah, so we think it's more out. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they used to do. Yeah, yeah. That's the fence that we're talking about. We have to be wet. Right, because that's a 20. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. That's the water table called a foot down right there, at 26, and this is... Yeah. Well, one's more close to the ground. It is wet. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah. 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 Yeah
because these as we move in right. the circle. Oh. Oh. So I'm not quite one here. The water table. Is, the little uh, that uh, replicated up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the water table? No, no, no. Four feet. It's on the next sheet. Four feet. Yeah, four feet below, yeah. four feet below yeah. these holes. These yeah. holes here. Yeah. What is it over? Let's see. That's twenty-eight. Yeah, yeah, 24, 24 yeah. is Flatland, uh, 22, 24, 22 oh, is the Flatland. Well, we're all really, really glad when that's going to this, this wall is definitely yeah. elevated. We can yeah. grade into it. My guys did not pick it up for some reason. So it's two feet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Water tables can be right there. Any kind of effect that water tables support right here. So we just want our, like, this community to have a basic set. So that's where the hose goes around the next day. Since we're shedding water in this direction, we can cut a swale in to make sure that it's a little over here. Well, that's the weapon. So. Oh, we're here. Yeah. They brought a lot of fill in here. That house is yeah. way up in the air. Yeah. 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 Whatever that house there is. That's a brand new house. That's number 44 Allen. So, in 44 Allen, Yeah, right, yeah. They used to have all of them from the corner all the way up. It's good to find something yeah. What's over here? Another house? Yeah, this is the old house in the corner. Okay. This is the old house in the corner, and then all of this was owned by the one, one owner. Okay. So this yeah. person owns this and this. Yeah. My house is here. Yeah, okay. and you're, that's what. Yeah. So you're in the corner. And there's, you a pond, the old house there's a pond here. Pond, yeah, it's a spring. Right there, yeah. This is very, very wet over here. Very wet. It's all the back of the inherent right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'd, I'd like to see a much bigger overview of where the herring run is and the herring run is all up way over here. 900 some feet or something. <laughs> so the only request the applicant is making is to fill in 1,500 square feet of wetland and replicate it. That's all that's on the table right now. Okay. Can we ask for a bigger replication area? Yeah. Yeah, why? Just because well, we need more wetlands around? I, I think it's not as big as it's what you put back in the restoration that really counts. That's how it's done. Size is, is what it, but it's replication that really is going to count. Yeah. It's a very it's and doing it right. one thing on the table. Fill 1,500, replicate it, and they have a planting now. Yeah, two to one replication. That's what you're supposed well, to do. He's, he's, he's actually proposing a one to one. Right, and I think, I think that's not acceptable personally. Um, it is it's two to one. That's what everybody does. That's the standard. We just help the other guy come up to it. So I mean, it's just fair. So you're saying this should be twice as big as it is? Like, yeah, instead of one to one, it should be two to one. Yeah. Oh, there we go. The USGS manager. And right now you're doing one to one. You're doing one to one, to one right on this? Not two to one. And the replication. One to one. One to one. Yeah. So this is one inch, a thousand feet. That's a, that's an If you turn it here, that, it's the other way. Right. Other way. Al right. This is Allen Street here. Okay, hold on. So there we that. Thank you. That's Allen Street. So you are. This is the lot here. This is the one here. This is this is here. This is here. This here is here. This, this is that house is here. This one is over here. So it's forward of this one. building. Proposed is over here. No, right? no. here, right, right here. here. Oh, well, right there, right, right there. And that's and you can see a spot. So, you know, it's all treed. Well, it's marginal land. I don't know how old that photo is, but that yeah. Grass is all wet. Well, I'm talking about working the house. Yeah, I'm trying to get a little bit of 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 a Earth reclamation with more trees than I want to go longer than a two year period of time. We have the other guy going for 10 years. Copperwood 
change that whole thing. Yeah, you're pretty much there right there. Because that's it. the replication is going to be costly. So you put in the bridge instead. Uh, that's how we want to fight, making the replication an honest reclamation. You know what? That might be just cool. That was our first one. Go one more question. Took three years to get our first one. Because our replication is taken seriously. The replication is taken seriously and second on the board. Something I can do with it. That's the house. There's a concrete, and that's your stone wall. That's leaching field here. And that's the pond. And it's pretty wet in here as well. That pond's all man-made. It was a spring. And this is your we house. We dug it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, no, I understand. Exactly. All I have is yeah. second-hand information from the yeah. 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 Stop by. We, we dug it years ago. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. This guy's Rick knows, too. He's his brother. Yeah, his brother worked. Oh, yeah. Charles worked. Oh, yeah, right about here. I know. The tunnel is not that. Oh, the other hand. Charles. Nice to meet you, Sam. Nice to meet you, Sam. If you come from here, there's a, down in here, there's a stream, a little stream that comes right through this way. This one also, where the Madden used to live, that was made by a small boulder. Back to what's in front of us. Yeah, exactly. Phil, and then you said it's one to one. Yeah, one to one. To, no, no, it is oh, one to one. We're trying. Yeah, okay. we're not going to. You can't do that. One guy well, let's get. Let's let's yeah. get you know, get your right. I'm, I'm personally in, all in favor of rubber banding. I hate to destroy good upland to create wetland myself. I agree. That's why you do it the he's right within, way. He's within the water. Door. Right. He's within the water. It's too so water. now you would like to to me when when we're. I think we're getting ready to close, and you issue an order. But you don't, you don't like what he's proposing. No, it's not extensive enough, and I don't, but then we have the other guy at Copper, we're doing a tank here, that's why we did the box culvert, got yep. rid of the box culvert, because the reclamation would have been so expensive, we did the bridge for a little more, and not running the OCC. Yeah. Were you guys on the we won. Copper Wood? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was in the woods. So that, yeah. wasn't, so that wasn't that long ago? No, no, and we also got a 10 year, up to 10 year replication. Okay. Three or four times what anybody else was doing, so. And they did a great job with the span. You know, that they, 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 they up here. Because he wants two to one. Yeah, two to one. Okay. No so it ought to be, everything ought to be two to one. Well, so oh, absolutely. At least. So, at so, least. So you're in favor of that two to one as well? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I've worked on this. Like I said, I hate to take down a forest to put it in the You know, I agree with you with that on, on your fundamentals. I absolutely do. Yeah. I'm not going to say I don't, because I do. Bring us to order. Ask if there's any more discussion. Yeah. Okay. Well, All right. I'm against putting invasive trees in with invasive trees that are already there. Okay. All right, let's uh, get the meeting back to order, please. Okay. Gino. Everybody would take their seats. Need your, Thank you. Need your hammer. <laughs> yes, we do. We'll get tonight. I'll give them a bit of a bird. Okay. So I just, I just want to ask, um, are there any uh, abutters here that have anything else to say before we close the hearing? I'll make a motion to close 50 Allen Street. Second. Yeah, motion has been made and seconded to close the hearing on 50 Allen Street. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? The motion carries unanimously. No, I mean, who are you on? I'm going to let you make that okay. motion. <laughs> um, move we build according to plans with our normal boilerplates and well, allowing the, res the replication to at two to one instead of one to one. I'll second that motion. Is there any discussion on the motion that's will been the, made? Will the typical three? Uh, will the typical three? Negative three. The negative, three. Yeah. negative yeah. three. And will they have to come back in and get approval for the area where they're going to? There is no negative on this. It's, it's an NOI. It's, it's not an NOI. An NOI. Right. So there isn't. That's what asked. Do they need approval for where the, the two times is going to be put? Where, where they, yeah, they, they they're going to double the size of the put a new plan in? Reclamation yeah. plan, yes. Yeah, new plan with new planting scheme and all, including some of the suggestions that were made. Yeah. Is there any discussion on the motion that has been made? 
Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Mm -hmm. Please note that any person aggrieved by this decision has the right to appeal within 10 business days. Please contact our office, our office or the DEP if you need assistance. So basically what this means is uh, we're going to come back and resubmit this plan with a, a two-to-one reclamation area of the wetlands that have been disturbed by creating this uh, circle for a building that's required by, by zoning. So they'll be back in front of us, and obviously that'll be posted, and you're welcome to attend that that meeting. Great. Is that you look puzzled to my yeah, statement? I, I don't understand it though. Well, we need to see so, the two to one. Yeah, we, we need, need to see, see the two to one. So, yeah. you, you closed the hearing. We closed it. Yeah, you're right. done. I can submit a plan, and I can work it out with yeah. Bob. It's and a submitted. We'll, 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 but we need to. We'll but we need to approve the two to one. Well, or you need, no, you at least you need to. Don't, we don't need a hearing. We don't need a hearing for that. I apologize. But right. the plans will be available for anyone to look at. Okay. Right. And we'll, we'll agree on it. Okay. So the important part for that is there's a 10-day period, if anybody has an issue with this, to uh, to appeal it. Okay. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. That's the last thing on, isn't it? Yeah. One, more, one more discussion we need to take care of. Okay, one more discussion. Okay. Does anybody uh, have anything else they'd yeah, like we to have discuss? More discussion. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Sorry about that. We have uh, approval for funding delineation of delineation of land behind the community. Um, what the town man, uh, town administrator, uh, town administrator has asked if we would approve using our funding to do the wetland delineation line behind the wall field. Well, it was this whole, this area, this area back here, there, it's part of the long range, what to do with the community center and all that, but they need to know just how much land is back there before we get to the wetland. We have done this in the past. We have funds that we can tap immediately and let them go ahead with it, and then they repay us back from town meeting later on. Uh, the reason they want to get going is that we're now into the end of September, and they, if we don't get it done in the next six weeks or eight weeks, winter will set in and then it will be spring before they even get the idea of how much the land is back there so they can go forward with some of their plans. What, what, what are, are some of their plans? plans? Yeah. 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 You want to delineate it? I'd like to remember well, what the, their the, plans the whole, are. The community center is, you know, they've been kicking the community right. center back and forth for 20 it? years. Are we going to raise it? Are we going to raise it? Uh, there's, uh, I don't know how much of this I'm even supposed to be saying, but we're right, in so we just need okay. To what talk about there's a chance that they're looking at a combination private uh, development of the community center for the town and put some condos in in place. So in other words, a a combination private public thing. But before they can even enter into talking about that, they got to know how much land we have. Okay. To you, so and so if we get a wetland line, is going to whatever they do sooner or later, they got to have this wetland line. And, and we're talking about basically from here to here, correct? That's the end of the ball field. This is the end of the ball field right here. Right, yep. right here. Yep. Right. That's we're, the end of the ball we're, field. We're so somewhere about. out in there, and this is the heron running way down. Oh, maybe that one doesn't show the. No, it doesn't. No. The, right, I've got one. The herring run or pudding burger is probably well, the herring run. The herring run. It's a definitely a good idea to have them know exactly what they are dealing with, <clears throat> whether we approve I, the project like or not. I would like to know what the trade-off is for um, community versus the housing. That's not the issue now. Yeah, it's not it's not the issue. I'm interested in that too, but like, unfortunately it's not in our purview. Until, right? until, we, until they get the line, they, they can't even the begin line. to and get that So way. we're talking about... Well, it doesn't... I got you. How much money is in that account, by the way? Which? It says that secured from the wetlands account. Well, I, you would have to. We'd have to go over there because we have not only money in a wetlands account, we have money in CDs also. 
Uh, you'd have to, I'd have to go to the accountant and find out what all of it is. Put okay. there. Uh, and the, in the wetland funds can only be used for very specific things. In other words, any money in the wetlands account can only be used for something that's covered by the SIM 10. Uh, in other words, by the regulations. It's got to be wetlands Wetland. related all the way, state wetlands. Right, right. Bob, so, isn't it? Uh, it was my understanding this is just a loan, right? And it's only a right. loan. Right. In other words, this is only a loan. They are intending to pay it all back, but is couldn't. They didn't get it in for this town meeting. By the time spring comes, they've lost the whole winter and all. So they're okay. looking for to say that we will cover whatever the, the expense. What if might the town be. meeting doesn't approve to pay it back? They always have. We've done this before, and they they always have lived up to their. Their, their thing. But it's certainly a possibility. It's a possibility. Time, okay. right. It's a possibility. How much is, is how much money are we talking about? We aren't sure because nobody's even looked at it. They, you can't they're approve talking about ten. In your best, of just okay. They would not to hold you. They ask for ten. They, they go up to ten thousand dollars. It's probably okay. going to be yeah, a five thousand dollar or less. Or so. Yeah. This one. The ten thousand would be the high. Approximately twenty-three thousand. They want to find out what property we have available down there. See what what they have to do. They have to get a plan. They're going to get rid of the It's going to be surveyed and put on a plan, and then they can start utilizing. They're not what's really going on. They're not taking any. We don't get it. But they don't know what we have down there then it's, so. It would be, you know, back it, could be in wetlands. April before they could get back it's in there. Well, you know, it's, I know, you know, I 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 know, then, yeah. then pay it, it back. They would go to town meeting yeah. to appropriate funds yeah. to Is it just it behind, or is it going to be a complete from high ground to low ground yeah. again? Is it going to be, well, um, are they going to stop at high ground, obviously? Um, uh, they'll go like they would, like in anything, right down else. to the where the wetland so is. The yeah. Are, yeah. Then, yeah. They're yeah. going to identify all the wetlands on this. Yeah, that was, they yeah. want to get every bit of land. They want it accurate so that they yeah. have something to work with. And offsets that will work in the future. Okay. I'm okay with that. All right. Yeah. Any uh, further discussion? Okay. They, they, wait a minute. They're gonna they're gonna take all the trees and everything out of this area. They no, don't. no, we no, don't. No, all no, they're no. doing is flagging the wetlands. All so we doing. don't know what they plan to do. We're just oh, approving. And then all. if if something else comes up. That's then else. it's a whole new process well, yeah, whole new of process. approvals. Yeah. Right. This is right. only for just establishing okay. the line of the where wetland. the wetland begins. Just, yeah. just yeah. where it begins. Okay. And then it, That's that, a good idea. So then after they do that, we could challenge that if we didn't feel it was right. Exactly. Okay. Not, I was just stoning. This is just like gathering information. Flagged. There'll It'll be right. no machines, no chainsaws. Right. It'll be it's great to get an understanding of where the wetland is. Maybe a couple machetes. Maybe two machetes. Okay. So do we have I move we close. We close. No, no, what do we, we just, this is a, dis a this discussion. Is a discussion. Yeah. But we can, I move that we make available up to $10,000 from our wetlands account for establishing a wetland line in the area behind the community center ball fields area of town owned land. Can I ask one question for uh, just this time? Um, I don't believe that the town meeting is closed now, so why don't they put it on the town meeting floor instead of uh, asking us for the money? They can't get it on right now. It's already everything's closed. But as you know, it can be reopened and something can be put in there. I think it's just tough yeah. to find yeah, it right it, now. It is, we don't have a figure first. It's one of those we're working with an, an unknown. We can't go really go and say ask them that. This is really the e easiest uh, way, easiest to way of handling it because we right. have it's for our our benefit as well. Like, yeah, we yeah. can do I, this. I guess I would just like the motion to is it $10,000? It's understood that it's going to be uh, paid yeah. back. Pay back. And, you know, I just like with that. I would um, like to um, see that in But motion. within what time? How many town meetings do you say it's paid back with? It? Well, the last time, the last time it took three okay, town meetings. But one of them was because town meeting was claiming, as they always do, broke, broke, broke. Right. Mm -hmm. And we just stood up and said, well, forget about paying us. Yeah. Uh, our third this year because if you're that broke, we aren't. Yeah. You know, you can 
you can have what a little bit of money there is for the whole and, and what, does that take the whole group to decide that or what is that a executive decision or how is that cho that choice made in the future to give them a break it's by the, the, the board, board. Yeah. So yeah. So that'd be fine. yeah yeah there's a board could, yeah, i'm fine with yeah. that and at the ten thousand dollars is for a surveyor no, or, for or a wetland scientist to science. look at the plants and delineate the actual wetland line no, no clearing nothing else just Survey it, mark it, flag it, and then it's still up to interpretation yeah, from that, that point. Up to ten thousand, right. and then it's up recorded on a, on a plan. And it's recorded on the plan right. that they can use. And we can look on. at what's going on and have a yeah. scientific analogy of what is going on and what can and cannot be done. Right now, it's just an open book. Yeah. Even though I'm not particularly for it, I'm not against no, it. Well, <laughs> you know, you know, these. Yeah. These aerials give us a rough idea How of where do we have different things are, but they aren't thousand. accurate. Anything you see so on any more. of these aerials is not. No. no. Right, these are. Yeah, they're just confetti. giving us a good idea confetti of where. Confetti for the new year. <laughs> so could you uh, restate the motion? Uh, what, did you hear me? No? Did you write yeah, it down? Yeah, I have it down. I just. I need a second. Well, I, I, I need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you repeat 22,000 in the account? I move that we we make available up to ten thousand ten thousand dollars for use of establishing a wetland line behind the community center ball field on town owned land to be repaid by the town uh, in the um, near future. Well. Can you be more specific? Well, he said well, three, we, up to three, three years. Three, it took last it's time. Town That's why I asked you. Yeah, it's, town me, yeah. it's it is it's money that we're it's and I don't like to say um, it's money that's just it's sitting in a bag. We have it, over the years been very thrifty and what well, maybe you don't absolutely. realize can I get a minute to ask? Sure. Every time some one of these people come before us they have we get a piece of the action uh, and it goes into different separate. accounts yeah. because, depending what it is and the wetlands account can only be used for real specific purposes right. it has to be something the, that's directly part of the wetlands protection act yeah, this and this falls under that category so definitely. this account is one that we you can't man, if, can't tap too often because right. a lot of that, our other yeah. work is not uh, yeah not that's all that's away. what so, I was thinking yeah. of. And I would just say that we yeah. basically just doesn't, do, doing this, this in, in good faith I would, to be paid back, and if we didn't get paid back for some reason, that would, uh, would obviously affect future decisions to right. do it yeah. again. Do it so, so it, it would yeah. be a good faith uh, effort to um, uh, to I, this. I'd like to also and, just as, and, as, as know, we part of why we had these accounts established to start with is for like this or if a piece of property became available. Right. We can match some of the money for a down payment on a specific piece of property where if it went to town meeting, it might be six months, and by that time, the people could have sold it to a lot of other people. Right. So we sit right. on some funds for that reason. Now, every um, year it depends on the applicants to get that money, right? No. There's no it, 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 our money is ours. Well, no, yeah. I mean, does this, well, then the, the, the applicants that come in here, we get a piece of that, but do we get yeah. money from other sources yeah, as we well? Have, we have so cell towers markets. that we rent that, right. that we get money, money from. Different. And uh, oh, yeah. we are just recently established, and we didn't put it in, you know, let me get by. We had established that taking trees, anytime we cut trees from now, right. any tree that's cut more than two and a half inches around, just like they, we give them a choice of planting Three trees, three. all putting ten dollars into our tree account, which tree. is there to buy trees to plant other places. So if they cut fifty trees, it'd be one hundred and fifty dollars to put in the account. Yeah. All right. I'm going to second Bob's motion. Okay. A motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor. Aye. 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 All those opposed. Motion carries unanimously. I would just okay. like to say, not for tonight, but in the future, I want to up that that ten dollars. Yeah, it was just thinking. Who would, who would, who would yeah. not? Uh, thank who would, you. Wouldn't pay the ten bucks. You're going to pay three hundred bucks for a tree. Why would that's you? Like a, why wouldn't you uh, give ten bucks? Uh, that's a well, fine for cutting trees do down. I, that's not a fine. Ten is easy to get by, and we're no. 
We aren't. And that's where the cedar went. No, we so it ten dollars. Fifty dollars. It should be. Uh, I, yeah, I, it's got to be a bigger number. I, I think know, it costs a lot tonight, more to buy a tree. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, you might have a shrub so that has thirty, fifty bucks each. Cutting down a lot of trees and donuts. Oh, hopefully we can have a nursery sometime and sell them the right. trees also. It just it just seems oh, we like can't it's sell a, a bad We can't make money that way. Yeah, ten dollars. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right. Ten bucks. Well, we would plant a tree. I don't have well, to buy a tree and yeah. dig a hole. Yeah. Well, some right. entity like a community garden could. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm so go by the um, diameter. <coughs> also, ten dollars an inch. More discussion. Yeah. Um, just for the record, is we do this. We have some control over it. We push it to where it goes. Out of our control, you know, then we lose control. It goes to the state, to the feds. Hopefully, this will remain within our our uh, oversight of what's going to happen here, and not become some big federal project that dumps a whole bunch of stuff from oh, there. I mean, we have so we have oversight of right anything that's right. a hundred foot from this wetland line or two hundred foot off of the river, that's whichever. Right. Happens to come in this case. I think it's a hundred foot because I think yeah. the river's back in there quite yeah. a ways. Depends on what, what time of year it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yeah. unfortunately, I for land, I, I think we're going to find that once we go over the hill, we're going to be right into the wetland at the ball field area. Maybe the old bogs behind the, the behind the library. There's a little more land that yep. sticks up for a That's while, right. but then it drops off. You can kind of see on this map where it does it. Yeah, but um, again, it's like hopefully this stays within the town and we can work on something nice for the community here in the future. Yeah, yeah I mean, they're, they're, they're kicking around whatever they can to do it, you know, try to get something done. It's still, but there's no definite plan. Kind of this they need, that, they so need to, to know some of this information before they can really go out and ask okay. people. I'm going to make a motion to close this meeting. Second. A motion has been made and seconded to